Oof. How's your shower? Necessary. I had whipped cream everywhere. <laughs> I can't believe it. How do you like my dreads? Very hot. You're a liar. Seriously, though, when is the last time you had a legit food fight? It's pretty fun, right? During, yeah, but especially after. Especially after. You even helped me forget about my dad for a little while. Who is probably being moved to a holding cell right now. Or not. Are you absolutely positively sure this place is empty? We've been staking it out for hours. It's empty. But you said you had a plan. I'm sorry. Did we escape from Ferncliff or not? We did. Okay. To come here? Well, why not? We had to come someplace to regroup. But isn't Windymere kind of famous for stashing criminals? Actually, it's Windermere. Yeah, that's what I said, Windymere. No, Windermere. Wind 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 that's why uh, I chose it, because Mere. it is very obvious. So obvious, in fact, that the police will think we're too smart to hide out here. Oh. Let's just hope Caleb thinks the same thing. As you know, teams have been searching all night. This is the vehicle we're looking for. Plate information's in front of you. It's a rental. It was being used by Dr. Kevin Collins. He's also Lucy Coe's husband. If it's been dumped, neighboring jurisdictions have been notified. If you happen to come across the escapees, don't be a hero. Call it in, get back up, proceed with caution. Escapee number one, Todd Manning. He has the resources to potentially leave the country. Escapee number two, Heather Weber. She has a son in Port Charles. He has been notified. Escapee number three, Lucy Ko, according to her doctors, she still believes she's a vampire slayer. Stop laughing. It is believed that when she finds out Allison Barrington has been murdered, she will do whatever it takes to get Allison's son, Rafe, who's locked up downstairs. How'd you kill your mom? You heard wrong. That cop did it. Which one? John McBain. I want you to take note. Heather Weber, Todd Manning. Considered extremely dangerous. The last time they got together, they kidnapped Sam Morgan's baby. She's gonna, there she is. Oh, baby, you have no idea how glad I am to see you. Oh, my God, was it awful? I mean, two nights in jail? They could use new bedding, I'll tell you that much. Hey, how is it really? I'm hanging in. All right, I spent hours on the phone trying to find out why the judge canceled the arraignment yesterday. Well, that's a good thing, right? I mean, it gave Dad an extra day to convince Connie to drop the charges. Did it work? Come on, this is gold. <gasps> hey, cuz. Did you see the front page headline today? Inspired is an understatement. I thought this one was pretty good, too. Connie, that's horrible. I know. Horrible sells papers. I still think I made the right call, though. You do realize that Heather tried to kill me right now. She's out there running around planning God knows what. The cops will find her and throw her butt in jail. Just like they're doing to Sonny's daughter. This whole thing has been a nightmare for Christina. And for you too, I bet. I just do not like seeing my little girl in lockup. You know, when I walked into Connie's office, Christina had a baseball bat. She was in a mess, grieving over her boyfriend. I mean, she was just like... Are you trying to talk to Connie? She ain't backing away. Mm. Are they gonna know why? Connie, Connie and I, we got a little close, right? Huh. So I think she's pressing charges to drive me away. Well, as I understand it, uh, Connie is the only witness to Christina's assault. Right. So, uh, you want me to make her disappear? What are you suggesting? Look, a couple of months ago, you asked me to deliver Connie. Uh -huh. I could do it again. Maybe keep on the wraps till she decides to back off. You can't prosecute Christina without the only witness. Can't do that. Look, even with your daughter's freedom on the line? I know what that's... Look, I... I cannot have Connie grabbed twice. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right, but... You want to tell me why? Hey, so, uh, since you brought up Christina... You know what I did? I leaked the first chapter of my novel today. No, I did not see that. Oh, it's so good, Liv. 
It's called Love in Maine by Connie Falconeri. I'm debuting chapter two next week and the third one the week after, just to give the audience a little taste of what's to come. And then it hits the stores March 12th. I tell you, people are going to get in line to buy this. I have no doubt the book is something great. It's not great. It's amazing. Then I'll be sure and congratulate Molly Davis. Nice, Liv. Thank you so much for your support. I, I'm not here to argue and talk about what you leaked and what you write and oh, didn't really? write. Oh, really? Then okay. what are you here to talk about? What you doing to Christina? I'm sorry, sweetheart, your father tried. He did. He really did. He just wasn't able to convince Connie to let up on you. But I won't be in lockup indefinitely. You still think I can get bail, right? Of course. I'm not going to I am going to do everything I can to convince the judge that you are clearly not a violent person. You lost your boyfriend. You were distraught and you snapped. Yes, it's going to be okay. We'll make sure of it. I ain't judging, kid. I killed my grandfather. Two other people. Believe me when I say holding it in, keeping it from everybody is worse punishment than prison. I didn't kill anyone. If that's true, I hope you're exonerated. In the case that it's not, and you don't have a history of past violence, then maybe you can find yourself a lawyer to work some sort of plea bargain. And again, trust me. Hey, Carl. It's better you face with you than Sentencing time. Can't wait. This guy's gonna die in prison. So are you. Go oh, easy on him. Give him my food. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Who are you? Where's Danny? He's at the uh, the quarter mains. Monica's watching him. They put extra security there, and they've got Alice. I mean, she's tackled Heather before. I'm sure she could do it again. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Forget about me. How are you? <sighs> What's wrong with that place? Ferncliff? Yeah, Ferncliff. How many times is that now that uh, Heather Weber's escaped? And then Crazy Manning, I was going to transfer him out of there yesterday, and I got... I got caught up in this case. Oh, it's not just any case, John. It's a, it's a boy accusing you of murdering his mother. You know, if it weren't for me, you two would still be sitting at Ferncliff. I think a little gratitude is in order. I tell you what I would be really grateful for is something to snack on. I am so very hungry. You know, even those high, high fructose, starchy, sugary meals at Ferncliff sound really yummy right now. Hey, 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 uh, hey where'd you get that? Where did you get it? I found it on the dock. Well, well, give me that. Can I have it? Thank you. Oh, yum. Along with this. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Do you think this is gluten-free? What half? No, no, it's mine. Get your own. Todd, tell him to give me half. Give her half. No, I want to see the paper, though, please. I, I just want to find out if, if Kevin's okay. Could I just Who's look Kevin? at it for... Look at this. This is libel, this is slander, and this is a horrible photograph. Connie Falconer calls me a stooge in my own newspaper. It's not your newspaper since Johnny ratted you out. You lost the paper and everything else, Todd, remember? My dad escaped Ferncliff with Heather Weber. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. What is wrong with him? I know I shouldn't be surprised that he would do anything to get out of going back to prison. I doubt your dad has the resources to get very far. Yeah, I guess. Unless... Unless what? Well, do you want him to get away? I'm the reason my dad was being sent back to prison. Remember, because I wouldn't let him fake DID? I know. So why do you think I would want him to be free? Last night before Sunday bar sex... You said you were feeling guilty about your dad being in lockup. Let's look on the bright side. There's a bright side? At least ELQ's problems aren't on the front page anymore. 
Well, I guess that is kind of good news. But the damage is already done. I wonder if you need to wear a tie to the arraignment. Wait, I thought you were going to meet up with AJ, try to salvage the company. Yeah, well, Chrissy needs me more. I don't think you need a tie. This shirt looks great. So you're going to see Sunny, huh? Yeah, and I am dreading it. My dad keeps saying that he had nothing to do with the information about EOQ getting leaked, but the motive was there. He had a meeting with Tracy. He was with Connie in her office when she told us he was guilty. When I had you pick up Connie and take her to the warehouse, I, you know, I was desperate. I, I would do anything to get through to Kate. So what changed? Well, I mean, Connie's not this, like, out of control, out of, you know, symptom of mental illness. She's... A human being, she's got feelings. Feelings. Confused and the whole thing. I don't want to prey on that. You've gone soft on her, man. Hey. Oh, uh, hi, TJ. Um, Molly's not with you? Uh, no, she's at the station waiting for Sam. Okay, well, I'll grab her and we'll head back. Uh, good luck, Chris. Thanks. Uh, all right, look, I gotta get my arguments in order. You gonna be okay waiting here? Yeah, I'm not in a cell. I'll be perfect. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah. What are you doing here? You first. Why the cuffs? I'm being arraigned for attempted murder. Who are they saying you tried to kill? Your wife. 